everybody. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am setting up my February bullet journal. I have done my swatching. This is my dashboard. Distance gives us reason to love harder. My February theme is mailbox, postbox, love letter kind of theme for February. I will be using, again, my dashboard. These stickers are available for free download to my email subscribers. I will also be uploading variations of these to the shop as well. I'll have the letter days of the week and then I'll have this exact file for purchase if you're interested. I will be using this washi. This washi is from the washi collection I've just released, my washi basics collection. Um, so you can again check that out if you're interested. I don't mean to be pushing myself so much but I'm just letting you know what I'm using. And then I feel like they're a little bit overdone right now, but I am going to be using some paper bag that I have lying around. I've been using it in my health and wellness journal, but I decided I'm going to use it in this month's setup as well. And then I picked a variety of colors. I grabbed my Tombows and I didn't have all the colored Tombows that I needed. So what I was missing, I just grabbed in my Crayola. Now, I know this looks like a lot of colors to be using, but these are actually shadows of these. So those will be used in conjunction. So if you look and see, here's where I've done my swatching to figure out what colors will work best. So I have sketched out my basic layouts that I'm going to use. So. I hope you enjoy what I have for you this month. Thank you for watching today. So as I kept creating and kept getting ideas in my head, this kept pushing me further and further outside of my comfort zone. Now, I initially picked watercolor thinking it was the fastest way to get color on the page. And it was fine, except I ended up piling more and more and more color on which meant more and more water, which meant I ran into some issues with my page warping. But we'll get to that in a second. Here you see me just adding color. I do want to apologize for all of the headshots. I edited out as many of the headshots as I could. They were far worse, so I do apologize for that. But as I mentioned, my February theme is mailboxes. So I thought it would be fun to set up a Dutch door type mailbox that opens up to reveal mail inside. So I'm adding watercolor while trying to kind of shade in the background and give it some dimension. And that was another reason why I chose the paint because it dries however it wants. And so it kind of gives a really cool textured effect. That's why I picked watercolor. And it ended up taking a lot longer than I anticipated. I had a lot of fun. It was a great learning experience, but it took a lot longer. I basically used every watercolor medium I have to get this done. It was really fun. If you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to reach out and I'll happily share the information with you. Here you see me using my Do and watercolor pencils. Going, I'm going in and adding more shading, um, more depth to the piece, especially in the back so that it looks like you're looking into the mailbox. And then you'll see me go in with my brush and I'm just kind of blending that pencil out into the main picture. Now you can see the red envelope lying in the pile and I basically did that with every layout. I added a pop of red in some way, shape or form just to kind of bring it back to the fact that it is February and it is Valentine's Day and I just thought that was a fun element to add in. And now you see me outlining. I found that by outlining gave everything a bit more depth. Now you can see me going in with the white jelly roll and just cleaning up some of the painting errors that I made. I'm 
I'm using a craft knife to cut around the front of the mailbox and I've slipped a piece of cardboard between the pages so I'm not damaging the page behind the page I'm cutting and now I'm just adding tape glue. I realized my mistake at this point of doing the outline. I didn't quite cut exactly to the drawing underneath it even though I did measure it. I tried covering the pen line up with watercolor, but <laughs> watercolor has a lot of opacity, meaning it's just you can still see the pen line. So I got out my um, gouache water based paint and I mixed in some, some black and white to make the gray to cover that line. Now the gouache worked way better than the watercolor did. And since this is water based gouache, I was able to go in and blend out that thick gray line and that's what you see me do now and yes there is a difference between acrylic gouache and or acrylic based gouache and water based gouache and then I just went in with the gouache and just added a bit more color and depth to the piece just here and there just to blend it in so that it didn't stand out as much and now I'm just outlining the outside of the mailbox I decided to make a thumb hole to make it easier to open and close the door of the Dutch door. And so I just used a circle template stencil that I had just to kind of get that round shape that I wanted. And then I drew in a red knob for the mailbox. I'm adding some shading just to give it a bit of depth and dimension. And then I found these stickers at the dollar store and I thought they would be cool to kind of give the effect of a street number on the mailbox. I picked 2102, meaning February 2021. And then I grabbed an acrylograph pen from Archer and Olive to do my lettering for February. You see me go in and I'm doing faux calligraphy with the pen and then just building up the heavy downstrokes as I go. I also thought I would add more dimension and more pop to the lettering by adding a shadow just on the inside of the lettering. For my monthly spread this month, I kind of went outside the box a bit <laughs> and I thought it would be great to have a bank of mailboxes. And that's what you've seen me do here. I created my post office scene and I'm just going in and adding the little areas that show the numbers of the mailboxes. And I'll go in with a white jelly roll later and add the days of the week. I'm adding my headers for my days of the week and I'm not joking when I say I'm holding my breath writing these letters. I wanted that long thin look that you do get at the post office or at least it's standard at the US Postal Service. And adding in February in calligraphy just to tie in with the rest of my theme. So after my experience with my cover page, I kind of gave up with the watercolors and I went back to using my Tombows to color in. As always I'm adding in my page borders. Now because of all the painting on the previous page I actually ended up grabbing a page from an old Scribbles That Matter notebook and sticking it down just to be able to use the page. 
and it's great because you can barely tell so I'm happy with my cover page I'm happy with my calendar page and I'm ready for the month I'm now adding my habit trackers I again decided to have a bit of fun with it last month for January I used TVs as my habit trackers but this month I thought I would use mailboxes and they look a little bit like birdhouses, but I think the effect is still okay. <laughs> you can still more or less see what's going on. And I was also able to add colors to it as well so that you kind of get the full effect of my color scheme, which is really great. So unlike the TVs that I created on the iPad, I decided to hand draw these. I did a lot of hand drawing this month, which is more than I've done in a while. Normally I print them as stickers on the iPad, but this month I guess I was just in a different mind frame. Now I'm adding my calendars. I'm using my Natasha Miller Letters mini calendar stamps to make these trackers. I've set it up so that there is every instance of the year that can happen, whether you are a Monday start or a Sunday start person, but you can check those out in the shop. And although I don't have a February 28th instance of everything, <laughs> I just went in with a jelly roll and got rid of the extra days that I didn't need. And then I just finished off the layout with some fun embellishments. Now I'm going to leave you here. I finished setting up my brain dump and I have my weekly layout coming as well. I did another Dutch door because why not? <laughs> and you can check that out and there'll be a flip through at the end as well. If you like the stickers or the washi, again, you can check that out in my shop as well as the stamps. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the time. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get to them shortly. Thank you so much for watching today.